everybody. Good morning. Just gave Simon fresh food and water. He ate most of his wet cat food, didn't you? It's really rainy today and I have to go to work. It's Friday, so happy Friday. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably not going to be Friday when I post this, but anyway. Whatever day it is, I hope it's a good one. So it's raining really bad. I'm not going to let Cinnabon out. He won't even want to go out. So we'll do a little experiment. We'll leave him home all day. So I've never left him home while I'm at work that I recall. I've left him alone for like seven hours. So I'll be gone for a while. We'll see how it goes. Yeah? We'll see you when I get back from work, buddy, okay? Well, I just got home from work. It's been almost 10 hours, probably, if you count driving time. Maybe a little less, nine and a half hours. Cinnabon's not in his usual spot, so... Cinnabon, buddy. I don't want to disturb him. He's probably sleeping. Let's check. Oh, hey, buddy. Hi, you've been good today? <laughs> He's rolling over. He's happy to see me. Oh, you better come up here. All right, I'll go down there. Let me drop my backpack off first. Hey, buddy, let me go down there and see you. Hey. Oh, good. You've been a good boy, I bet. You've been a good boy today, buddy. Let me turn the light on so people can see you. I can see it, but other people, oh, it's still kind of dark. I missed you, little guy. I missed you. You've been a good kitty today? You've been a good kitty? Let's turn this light on next. You've been a good kitty today, yeah? Yeah, you've been a good kitty, haven't you? Yeah. It's been raining pretty much all day, so a good day to keep Cinnabon inside, huh? You happy I'm back, buddy? You happy I'm back? Hmm? Oh, I bet you are, yeah. Stay nice and safe and nice and dry inside here, too, huh? Nice dry house for you? Oh, it doesn't appear he destroyed anything. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put away my things, and then I'll go ahead and uh, see if we can get some playtime or treat time or something. Yeah. Oh. You just want to relax, don't you? Yeah. You just want to... When I left you, was on top of the couch. It looks like you spent a lot of time on there, seeing how there's a couple, a couple uh, bits of his hair. He probably pulled off some burrs while he was sleeping. Or... Or chilling. Yeah, like a happy kitty, aren't you? Oh, yeah. It's the longest time he's ever been inside without me here. Yeah. Well, I better put away my things. Hey, Cinnabon just finished cleaning his ears. They're a little dirty. Yeah. You know, dirty, huh? You want some treats, buddy? How about treat time, huh? Okay, let's get Cinnamon some, some treats. Mm -hmm. We'll give you extra treats because you're so good today. Oh, I think I can do better than four treats, don't you think, buddy? I think we can do better than that, huh? Okay, here we go. Oh, we have four, six. <gasps> look how excited he looks. Ready, buddy? Ready? Ready? Oh, look at... Oh, he's hopping for them treats, huh? Yeah. No, I've got more. i got more. Ready? <laughs> oh. Would you like another? Oh. Good boy. Yeah. You've been so good today being home alone, yeah? Yeah. There you go. Last one. Can you get out of my hand? Ready? There we go. Good boy. Such a good kitty cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you have any adventures inside the house while I was gone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully not, right? Yeah. Can you tear up my clothes? Mm -hmm. Or my couch? Mm -hmm. Looks like you ate a little bit of his food. Yeah, it's been raining all day. It's a rainy day. Rainy Friday. It's kind of warm, too. Good boy. I think I know what Cinnamon wants to do. Do you want to play with that little snake toy, buddy? Yeah? We did that briefly this morning. Mm-hmm. We did for a couple minutes. 
mm -hmm. before I went to, went to work today. Uh -huh. I bet you slept most of the time here, haven't you? Mm -hmm. I bet you did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or I should say, didn't you? Oh, whatever. Uh -uh. Hi, little buddy. Oh, you want to play with that? Mm -hmm. Yes, I bet you do. Oh, make it some better footing so I don't knock myself out here. Boop. 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 Oh, nope. Oh, you got it. Just about where I was ready to say he's too slow. Whoop. 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 Oh, you got it again. Oh, look how fast it is. Like a birdie. Whoa. <clears throat> Whoa. Oh, you got it. Right on the clock. Right on the kitty cat clock. Whoa. Had a fairly pleasant week. This week at work, which is nice. It was a good week. It's been a while since I've had a good week at work, so it's kind of nice. Whoa. Whoa. Next week it'll be interesting. I have... Let's see, what do I have next week? Oh, on Wednesday night I have a homeowners association meeting. Where I live, we're out very secluded, but there's about 13 homes, 12 or 13 homes. Woo. Each of us have a couple acres. It's a private street, which is fantastic. But we have an association, so we have to have a meeting. There's pretty much no actual rules. But there's always local... Oh, nice catch with your mouth. There's always local politics, right? Someone's going to complain about something. Last time it was nothing really big except the condition of the road, which is really not bad. I don't care. In fact, if it was a dirt road, I wouldn't mind at all. It's just a little side street, you know. No, no outlet, kind of a cul-de-sac kind of deal. Low volume of traffic is the only people that are allowed to be on the road are residents or guests, which is nice. Keeps out some unwanted people for the most part. What's cool too about my neighborhood is that there's a lot of retired people and stay at home types, so they keep an eye on everything. Boop, boop, boop. The only other thing was one woman was really upset about something she, uh, she was freaking out about. Like, apparently, her kids were playing in the street and somebody almost backed into them when they were backing out of their driveway. And she was yelling at everyone about that. She's like, everyone needs to pay attention when they're backing out of their driveway. Like, I don't think it was me. There's no kids around me, so whatever. Like, don't take it out of me. I look when I back up. Ooh. So maybe your kids shouldn't be in the road. Just teasing. Kids don't really know any better, so you have to watch your kids. Ooh, and for when parenting fails, you have to watch for yourself. Make sure you don't hit any children, right? Or deer. <laughs> Not that a deer any more important than kids, but we have a lot of deer out here too, so you have to be mindful of that and be careful of that. When you live in the country, in deer country, where there's deer everywhere, you tend to remember where they pass because deer have paths. So when you're when you're driving through a deer area, like a deer crossing area, where you know that they typically pass, you just kind of be mindful and watchful. Be vigilant. Woo. Woo. Be sober, be vigilant for your adversary. The devil walketh about the seeking whom may devour. Oh, I forgot a line the, as a roaring line. In fact, I should replace that devil with deer. Whoa, whoa. It's First Peter five eight. Be sober, be vigilant for the deer, as a roaring lion walketh about the seeking whom he may get rammed by. <laughs> it's definitely not King James <laughs> with the deer, you know, edition. Wow, look at he got it. Oh, got your arm. Be careful though. I don't want to get scratched like last time. Oh. So kind of a scary story. It's not in my county. It's in the a county that's like a quarter mile or half, uh, probably a quarter mile away. A lady had a cat or has a cat and the cat she was feeding the cat treats, and the cat accidentally bit her when she when the cat was getting the treat. So it was totally accidental. You know, one of the teeth of the cat went into her finger a little bit, and normally it's okay. You put a bandit on it, but hers happened to get infected because cats have a lot of bacteria. She told the doctor that her cat had bitten her, and the doctor asked her questions about the cat, and it was her cat. And the doctor reported that. 
What you looking at, buddy? So the doctor reported and then she was contacted by her sheriff. The sheriff wanted to take her cat away. I'm like, no way. They were to try to do that with me in Cinnabon. I'd be like, over my dead body, they better send a SWAT team because I ain't going to give up Cinnabon. No. So I thought that was ridiculous that she had to deal with that. So I gave her a quick lesson in how to talk to the police <laughs> without and no, never surrender any information to them. I mean, you don't even have to talk to them, right? Especially if, what do you have to gain, really, you know? Especially when they, when they try to take your little fur baby away. No, it's one thing if you have a dog that, like, mauls a kid. That's different. But if a cat accidentally bites you while you're feeding the cat treats, and, you know, when I'm feeding Cinnamon, sometimes he does bite you a little bit, and he's not aggressive at all. Yeah. Not aggressive. I wouldn't let anyone take him away. Not peacefully, anyway. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Cinnabon would probably not uh, let let himself get captured either. But you're pretty elusive, aren't you? Yeah, you're pretty elusive, huh? Oh. Yeah, no one's gonna capture you. Mm -mm. Nope. Cinnabon is a super nice cat, even when he's freaking out at the vet and like acting like he's all he wants in there. <laughs> Even when he's freaking out at the vet, sometimes the vets are concerned or the vet techs are concerned that he's going to bite him, but he never does. He's a good kitty. You don't bite people, do you? Because mm -mm. I know if he wanted to, he could sink his teeth into my arm, no problem. But he's a good kitty, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Very restrained. Yeah. Well, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.